Here. Huh? But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first- Precisely. A recent one at the- It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal- Soothing agitation and anxiety, relieving exa- Oh, what a cool gadget! We could have come to Mount Atsong right off the bat and saved time on a- How preposterous. Had you and I not recalled much of her past, we Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Paimon thinks she gets it now. As previously mentioned, a gentle Adeptal tune is required to take full it. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean! Paimon- And you, you and I, is the mechanism- <sighs> <sighs> It appears she has already succumbed. The drought is over, but why do you look like you want to cry? The potion. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even- Please. Please, no. Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. Uh, uh, so that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. Granny! Granny, are you- Cloud Retainer. Hmm, your memories have- Wait, did you just call- You already knew each other? Yes. Granny, please don't cry. Oh, don't worry, my dear. I'm so sorry. It's all come back to me now. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. No, it's okay. Show you, everyone. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past? I know, dear child. Might some time ago. I Is this the sin that you mentioned in Joy? I am, in truth, not a hu- I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my- Fifty years ago? That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt, but I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take off. She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at. Oh no. So that was. That was because. Of Indeed. I fell in love. Though he was- Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, just like me, I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued to tick away. Oh no, what- I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a- I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes, but I was too ashamed to face her. I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. But that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. Along with my memories as a crane, 
I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a f <gasps> Granny! Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a quit master? Don't- <sighs> Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is- <sighs> So when I tried to conceal my name and- One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. One found you with such ease every time. Wait, wait, wait! Paimon's so Cloud Retainer, you found you and I again- One was furious upon receiving your letter. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. In truth, one had more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much, one took great care to alter one's features and select the appropriate attire. As one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You sh <sighs> One was quite torn. Should one have... Nevertheless, one would speak to you about another matter, if you are amenable. Even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated of a concept to remember. To think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost during the night. Make way for the Adeptus! monsters would hardly hmm. sad godly one was after all an active participant in the archon in the end one was relieved to see you endure through the night at the break of dawn one heard an in to see you happy that was more than Now you should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait, but if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Ah, one had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale.
Just as you and I troubled what upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans when one asked you why. <laughs> Apparently, one had no choice but to apply powder to one's body to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. It bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely, perhaps, fate. Br Now all oh. <sighs> one owes you an apology, you and I. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shen. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simp memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who live through Master, I I must ask. If you found me all those years ago- One has never regarded your action as when it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest. It is the responsibility of an elder to let them f- Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one- <sighs> Thank- hmm. One expects you to- Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. Had your condition con Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your me- So? One will help her reclaim her original form as a- She's gotta go back to being a regular crane. Master, you've all- I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. <sighs> Granny? Please don't leave- Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a one- Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs- I promise, Granny- Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely- That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while- uh, I'll eat well, Granny. I promise. And I'll leave- That's a good girl. I'm so sorry, Master. Let her be. At her aid. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should all... see each other again, that our days of separation would finally end, and all my troubles would be behind me. If 
only things could stay this way forever. A nightmare? Curious. If you relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? It was a good dream. It's just... You weren't ready to wake up. Eloquent as one may be, words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. <gasps> Have I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong, but without even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. I could become a cool adeptus like you and help a whole. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. F Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. I. Shoot, Paimon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing. If you join them, you'll never enjoy one Min restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. <sighs> How utterly preposterous. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pure... Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here. Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, that is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue... Whoa! You're leaving Mount Outsong? One has never concerned oneself with the loc... Yet in the end... All of one's disciples ended up... One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only... One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them. Why are you all so su... Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. Hmm. One has precious little time to squander. One will be assuming the identity of a human while reside- Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a- So, uh, when can we expect to- Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to- One has already picked out a handsome property near Chuhu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but- Seems like you've- Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor? A sensible plan. See- Oh, also- why don't you take this suspense somnium mechanism as a souvenir? Any- Awesome! Did hey, didn't we promise Shincho that we'd tell him what we found out? Should we make a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's totally up to you. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm all... <sighs> oh, 
Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. This uh, to be quite honest, in what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own. I have to be careful. Yes. We're here, Crow. Uh, Miss Chen. Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity of. I'll have you know, these items have rem several. It indeed. Um, <clears throat> their fam. Yep, yep. They've definitely hear that. Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would huh, doubt their authenticity any further, and- Whoa, 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 please don't go! I apologize for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that- An expert, you say? <sighs> very well. I will wait for a little while longer, then. Traveler? Master! Oh, it's you two again. Shoo you! You got a new- Mm-hmm. Master made it- Huh? You know how to make- <laughs> Do I know how to make clothes? Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left. Fret not. I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. <laughs> it appears my young apprentice... Now, this expert you mentioned... Soon, soon. Here, allow me to make some introductions. This is Mr. Zhang Li, a well Mr. Zhang Li, this is Miss Shen Yun. Uh... Huh. Ah, if it isn't Miss... Sh <clears throat> in... In... Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the... Huh. Uh, so you... Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware... <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for... De Why... You flatter me, Miss Sh <laughs> Not at all. Um, while I am loath to but you two already knew each other, and you- Ha! Huh, a preposterous accusation! Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. Say no more. Let us depart. Uh, I jest, I jest! What fool would still harbor- <laughs> I deeply apologize for doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli... There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this... The same can be said for this one here. Few... I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous... All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhang... Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final... The Northland Bank... Huh. <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. It <sighs> Zhang Li! My friends. We've been great! How about you? Paimon did- My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a- As for you, Miss Shenyun- I must say, the name Shenyun sounds- Whatever for. Well, <sighs> alas, refer to me. <laughs> it would seem one has indeed. One's previous stays were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and set this city. Not unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration. All right, that's enough reflection for one day. You make a valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what's... Hmm? Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. Oh? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too pre- Ha! Huh, hardly. Twas most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a... It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab rote. One has already passed word to Shen Hun Gan Yu to make a reservation. <laughs> It should be a most split. Shu Yu, come now, it is time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. A humble employee of Wang Sheng Funeral. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Zhang. That should be everyone, right? Sounds good. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus's temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even. Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. 